What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Umtho Gaming Channel. I am AJ Gels. Guys, we are back with Until Dawn. Uh, sorry that the first video in this series... Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do Nathan I Drake have wouldn't have missed. Just saying. Have, but surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody. I, well, I That's know. an awful it's smile. Hey! <laughs> Fire! Oh! <laughs> Great. Clearing off the move. <laughs> um... What was I saying? Sorry, guys. It took me uh, a little while to uh, get the first video of this series up. Um, my internet's been running slow. It's almost midnight, so it's almost, I guess, no Friday night um, or Friday morning. And I sort of kind of forgot to... Uh, or not forgot, but you know what I mean. I, I just I, I couldn't get the video up in time um, to be technically um, hey, Mike. earlier. Or early on Thursday, I'm getting uh this and another one up uh, you know in succession um so little offset uh i'm doing nothing is the right thing to do okay so it's obvious don't hit the bird kind of want to hit the bird though oh if i would have hit the bird i wouldn't have had the had the snowball to hit him Okay, we're all adults. We all think we we all know what'll happen. <laughs> and there it is. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Yeah. Right. Gross. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. And... Snowball! Ah! Oh, ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. Chris. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Let's check the status update that we just picked up. Uh... Charitable drop, and so did Romantic. How do we drop in relation with Sam? That's interesting. I still like my decision to uh, hit him with the snowball. Don't regret it. Oh, good. Back to this. Hello again. And how are we feeling? A little creeped out, dude. I believe that in our last session, you were not completely honest with me. I'm an expert with years of experience. You don't think you can mislead me. This is a little aggressive for, for therapy, don't you think? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. I have an anxiety disorder. The bitch. Eh. Bit my tongue while I was saying bitch. Symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Yeah, I usually get a little more nervous around women. Um. I can deal with planes. I'm not great in big crowds. Drowning is not the thing in the water that scares me. That would be sharks. 
Oh, easily snakes. Without, without even a... Uh, um... Honestly, I think knives are a little more or, or scarier than guns in a way. Easily snakes. God. Well, it's clowns over scarecrows. Neither really freaks me out. I guess gore more than crows. Oh. Okay then. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. You know that's not very uh, great conduct for a therapist. Just saying. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I like that pen. Stop showing me snakes! Easily needles. Clowns over zombies. Needles over dogs. Needles over storms. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Snakes, clowns, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I, I can't even think of how that would, uh... Well, I'm afraid. Yeah. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I think this guy might be one of the scariest parts of this game. Watch your back bend like that. Back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? It feels the same to me. Thoughtful, loving, complex. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Whoops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, 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 we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? 
Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Now, if we, uh, we remember, those two are, uh, they, they have a thing for, let me, I'm trying to think here, they have a, really have fallen below on honest, charitable, funny, and, bra okay. Sometimes the way the, uh, um, the character traits move don't always make sense. Um, but, uh, just, you know, if we remember, him and Ashley both kind of have a, uh, have a thing for each other, but they, uh, don't know it. Well, no. They know they like the other one, they just don't know it's reciprocated. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? God, it is um, terrible, terrible delivered dialogue. Get it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off Relax. already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. That's such an you oddly constructed around. sentence. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. He's right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. See, th this I will say is probably one of the. Um, How are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coaches, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot! Nobody likes cool buns. Um. But no, I mean, it's just the, um, the, it is kind of a downside of this game, like, really fun, but the dialogue is, uh, well, not well, delivered the, the best, or if you ask me, written the best, either. I mean, the, the writing's not awful, the writing's kind of your, you know, it's just kind of a crappy horror movie kind of dialogue, it's, it's the performance that really just kind of makes it... Not fun. Not, not not fun. You know what I mean. It's just... Just kind of the lackluster performance makes it a little, uh... Blase. To use a odd phrase. Ow! Oh! I'm okay! Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Did anybody out there in gym class ever have to actually like, climb a giant rope in their Whoa, gym? Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Thanks, John Wayne. What was I saying? Oh yeah, did anybody else in their in their gym class ever have to like climb a giant rope or some shit like that? Like, cause I, cause I never had to do that. All right, that, 
was a little spooky. Oh, let's watch that one one more time. Yeah, I can't, I can't necessarily tell who that was or what happened. Smouse. Okay. You know, like, doing this with, like, the motion controls is really kind of tricky because the the way you move your controller controls how he moves the, the lighter or the flashlight or whatever it is, whatever lighting device that they are holding. I prefer the more traditional stick approach. That doesn't sound like a weird sentence. Like I'm in some sort of like weird castle. Huh? Oh shit! What the hell was that? Whoa! Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Alright, let's keep searching the place. I could do without the spooky music. Anybody but me wondering why we can't just like turn on the fucking light? So the lighting in this game is very well done. Because it really does kind of set that vibe. Holy hell. We're freezing our buns off out here. I'd say this, guys, just because there's a kind of a delay from my mic into when you, you know, like, when the actual records the voice. Um, I will say this, you know, if uh, it sounds like those reactions aren't genuine, they are. They're just, you know, a little uh, off in the recording. Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it's just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. 
they just bite the shit out of him? Shouldn't he be trying to get to a hospital and get like a tetanus shot or some shit? Or a rabies shot? I think that's what it is, not tetanus. Home. Tetanus is rust. Not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. Keep your head. Whatever you want anyway, right? Keep your head. Easy there, cowboy. Uh... What the hell were you doing with M? There we go. I'm just, I'm just, we're we're going to lay it out there. I saw you and M. The telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. We cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. There we go. Talk about things, guys. Don't just, uh, don't just haul off and hit someone. My God, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear? All me? right, someone cat fight. Loud. Sounds like someone's bitter. She didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep, calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Let's just try and defuse the situation. No, shut up, Matt. Okay. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who could put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you... Think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Let's still try and Emily, keep them from stop. killing each other. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. Okay, if we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike. Why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do you? I guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. You, you gotta feel bad for that guy. You can get very warm. And gross. Okay. No, I will not stop that with all the sexual innuendo. I do it because it's fun. And anybody who doesn't like it, tough. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Hot. Sorry, I'm not not gonna lie, guys. I'm I'm drinking right now, so. Uh, yeah. Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Ew. Oh, 
How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars, you're gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Alrighty then, guys. I'm going to end this one here. Just to, I know it's a little early. It's just because I think this is a good stopping point leading into um, the next, I guess, half hour segment or so. So, guys, thank you for watching. As always, Facebook, Twitter, and the website. that's all down in the description below. And remember to like, comment, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, anything else I have to say? No, I think that's about it. So until next time, guys, I'm AJ Gels. This is the Dark Human Channel. Remember, if you want to be a part of this series uh, by, by, you know, influencing any upcoming decisions or whatnot, remember to make your comment as fast as possible, and I will do my very best to put it in. So until next time, guys, I'm out.